Hola mis amigos, sean bienvenidos a Viracito. No olvides suscribirte y darme like para más contenidos. Hoy veremos a periodistas gringos asombrados con el corredor interoceánico de México que busca destronar al canal de Panamá. Con el Istmo de Tehuantepec, una estrecha porción del territorio mexicano donde 300 kilómetros separan al Pacífico del Atlántico. Se construye un corredor interoceánico como una alternativa al canal de Panamá lo cual está generando expectativas económicas y mucha polémica. Escuchemos. Parte 3. The CIIT will create half a million jobs for local people and attract 50 billion dollars of international investment. This economic boom could transform the country and that's what President López Obrador is counting on. In August 2023, Line Z was officially completed. In September, López Obrador himself rode a passenger train from one end of the route to the other. The journey took less than nine hours, making it officially faster than traversing the Panama Canal. Two months later, just a few days before Christmas 2023, the first trains opened their doors to the general public and started to carry local passengers from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific. The other two lines are expected to be finished by the end of 2024. Despite all this progress, the government still has some work to do before the CIIT can be used for international shipping. Another feature of the project is a total rehaul of the ports at both ends of the train lines to make them more suitable for cargo ships. This includes a giant breakwater at the port of Salina Cruz, which will consist of hundreds of thousands of tons of rock to shelter the harbor. These giant rock walls are meant to reduce the risk of cargo ships being knocked over by storms. Work is still underway on the breakwater, but as of recent news, it's getting closer and closer to being finished meaning that the CIIT will open to cargo sooner rather than later. And that raises a pretty interesting question. What happens to the Panama Canal? Experts think that the CIIT will prove to be a cheaper and faster alternative to the existing Panama Canal. If that turns out to be true, it would make sense for companies to change their shipping routes, traveling through Mexico's railway corridor instead of using the crossing in Panama. Potentially, the canal could be driven out of business just as it drove the original version of the Mexican railway out of business one century earlier. But actually, that isn't what the CIIT was built for. The people involved have repeatedly said that this Mexican railway will complement the existing Panama Canal, as opposed to trying to replace it entirely. The Panama Canal has the capacity to handle up to 4 million cargo containers every year. But often, that isn't enough. More and more ships want to use the canal with every passing year, and it really struggles to keep up with the demand. To make things worse, the canal has been having some problems. In 2023, Panama was struck by the driest season in their recorded history. The authorities decided to limit the canal in the hope of preserving water. All its gates and locks use water to operate, and in 2023, that water was too valuable to waste. A decision was made. Only 25 ships would be allowed to use the canal per day, down from an average of almost 40 per day. This led to a bit of a frenzy, as companies started bidding millions of dollars just to guarantee a precious slot. Other ships were left stranded, waiting for a chance to use the canal. This is where another option like the CIIT could actually help. It could take some pressure off the Panama Canal and give shipping companies an alternative route when the canal is in high demand. This would also make shipping more reliable in general. Companies would have another viable option to help them reach their target destinations on time. The water shortages in Panama actually disrupted some deliveries in the run-up to Christmas. If the CIIT had been up and running, those deliveries might have all been made on time. Working together, the Panama Canal and the CIIT could also lead to an increase in global trade, with more goods now able to move between the Atlantic and the Pacific. As one Mexican official said of the project in 2023, it's not just about connecting the country, it's about connecting the world. But in the future, there's also a chance that the CIIT will face competition of its own. In 2014, a Chinese businessman tried to build a canal in Nicaragua in the hope of setting up another alternative to Panama. When the Chinese stock market crashed in 2015, he was forced to abandon the project. But maybe someone will come back to that in the future. There's also a possibility that the Northwest Passage, once blocked by ice, could be opening up as a result of global warming. In the last few years, a few ships have managed to use that route to get from one side of America to the other.
One thing. Como pudimos escuchar, las opiniones están divididas entre los que esperan que atraiga inversiones y aumente el consumo y quienes temen que esto facilite la actividad del crimen organizado, además de todo esto que puede generar serio impacto social y ambiental. ¿Cuál es tu opinión acerca de este gran proyecto? Déjame saber lo que piensas en la cajita de comentarios.